and welcome back. Today we're in the kitchen because earlier this week I posted on our Facebook group that I was making homemade brown sugar and I wanted to show you how to do that. So this video is going to be really quick because making homemade brown sugar is really simple. You need two ingredients and the reason I like making my own brown sugar is because I know what's in it. If you go to buy organic brown sugar at the store, sometimes it's hard to find and it can be rather expensive. But I already have raw evaporated cane juice on hand. So I already have raw sugar, um, organic sugar. And I already keep organic molasses. So because I always have those two ingredients, I can always have brown sugar if I need it. So let me show you first what my brown sugar looks like that I made earlier this week. All right, this is the brown sugar that I made earlier this week. You can see that it doesn't really clump together. Like even at, while it's in this jar, it doesn't really stick and clump together like store-bought brown sugar would. It has a really soft consistency and it doesn't over time get hard. I just keep mine when I make it in small batches. I keep it in a mason jar with a lid on it and this is how I store it. All right, so I'm just starting with two cups of sugar. And now I'm going to be adding in my molasses. So we're going to start small because you can always make your brown sugar darker. You can make dark brown sugar if you add a lot of molasses. You make light brown sugar if you just add a little. So I start with about a teaspoon. Apparently Bailey needs something. All right, so I start with the brown sugar in here and then we're just going to start mixing it. What you see here is very normal. You're going to start seeing bits of molasses starting to clump together with your sugar. That's going to go away. So you just want to keep going. If you have a stand mixer, I actually like doing that a little bit better because you can just leave it going. But my mixed stand mixer is still packed up in storage until we officially move. So I'm just using this little handheld mixer. It works just fine. You're just going to have to stand there and hold it. All right, even though all the molasses bits aren't um, mixed into the sugar all the way yet, I can look at this already and tell that I want my brown sugar to be a little bit darker. So all I'm gonna do is add a little bit more molasses. So about another teaspoon. So I'm adding just another teaspoon and we'll start mixing that in. All right, so it's getting there. I'm going to add just a little bit more molasses. All right, I'm happy with that brown sugar. See how like soft it is? It does not cake up like the brown sugar you buy at the store and I really think part of the reason is because you're using really fresh ingredients. You know, if you make it in small batches like this, then you use it up before it has time to sit there and kind of get old. So, like I said, so simple, sugar and molasses. For this, I used about two cups, I used two cups of sugar, I measured that out, and then about three teaspoons of molasses. And I just kept adding it until I kind of liked Whoa. the color. Yes, until I liked the color. If I wanted dark brown sugar, you just keep adding more molasses. Add it a little bit at a time and your brown sugar will get darker and you'll have dark brown sugar. So it's that simple. If you like this type of video, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know some other things that you would like to know how to make. We already have videos on how to make your own yogurt, how to make kombucha. Um, I did a video on how to make powdered sugar before. So look for those videos um, if you are, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, and then now you have how to make brown sugar. But there are lots of other things I can show you how to make too. If you're interested, leave a comment below. There are things like peanut butters and almond butters, cashew butters. Uh, you can make your own sour cream and cream cheese, your own cheeses. Um, luckily, we have a dairy cow, so I can use her for those things. But like hummus and um, I make our own baking powder. And there are so many things you can make yourself without having to buy them at the store. And I think that a lot of people just don't know. So if there's something you're interested in finding out more about or how to make, leave a comment. I don't mind making some of those videos for you in the future. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, like this video, and share with others. 
and we'll see you right here at Cram Farms next time.